Hey guys, Brad here. I'm in the shop today. I'm gonna work on a project um, for my garage. Um, I'm gonna do some French cleats, uh, French cleat system. Put my garden tools on here. Let me show you what, uh, what we got going on, okay? So for a long time I've been uh, storing all my tools haphazardly in uh, this cabinet in the garage. So um, I think it's time to organize this stuff and get it on the wall. So I'm going to be putting it on this wall over here. I'm going to be cleaning this part up and uh, I'll probably put it right in between on the left, right side of this garbage can here and uh, closer, you know, by the uh, water heater there. I'm going to leave that ladder there. And if anybody out there knows what type of wood this is, I got this uh, live edge slab piece. It's kind of thin, but maybe I could do something with it. Um, if anybody knows what that is, give me a shout out. And let me know. Okay. Let's get started. All right, so I got everything off the wall, kind of away from the space here, and uh, this is where I'm gonna put everything. So you can uh, see that I have an unfinished garage, um, which is kind of actually pretty good. I can see where all the studs are gonna be, so I can make sure that everything's secure when I bolt everything up. And I uh, got a uh, piece of plywood here. It's been sitting around for a while, and uh, the other side looks much better for sure, but this is just a, you know, uh, garage project, so I don't need to make it fancy this time. Maybe later on. And then I got this piece of uh, baseboard trim that I had from a previous project when I uh, did all the baseboards and trim in the house, and I'm gonna use that as a straight edge to make the larger cut, um, just to cut this uh, big piece of plywood down to size, and then I can use the table saw to uh, finish all the final cut so let's get everything set up okay I got everything set up here I got my table saw out put the plywood on top if you don't have a track saw you can use a nice straight piece of wood I'm gonna use a piece of MDF um, baseboard that I had left over from a previous project clamp that to the board and you can cut it with your uh, with your regular skill saw um, I'm gonna do a bit about a six inch wide cut so Make sure that you take into account the uh, width from the blade to the end of the plate here. Um, so when you do cut this, you'll get your six inch wide cut. I'm gonna do about, uh, oh, about six cuts or so uh, to get the lengths that I need to put on the wall. And then uh, once we get that done, uh, we'll put them on the wall and we'll start building all of our little modules to set on top. Okay, so I got my pieces cut. Um, I got six uh, pieces that are cut to six inch in width. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna cut these uh, lengthwise at a 45 degree angle. And um, half of that will go up on the wall, the part that, that is angled in to the wall. And then the other half will be for the little module pieces. I'll cut those to, uh, to width. And then these ones are four inch long pieces. I cut about three of these. I might need one more. Um, but what I'm going to do is cut these uh, four inches square and then I'm going to cut them uh, at a diagonal to get me a triangular piece and I'll notch that out. We'll screw those to the, the back pieces here and then we'll get them uh, all sorted on the wall. So let's start doing that. Okay, I got all my 45 degrees cut. Um, I'm gonna kind of put them up on the wall and see how it's gonna work. And I can show you uh, how that French cleat's gonna work in case you don't know what that um, uh, is gonna look like. So uh, give me a sec and I'll do that. So I got all the cleats up. Got two levels, boom, 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 boom. 
and then I lined up all the tools. Um, just kind of give a basic layout of what I want to do. And then um, I have some oddballs um, that are going to be a little custom, like the weed whacker and hedge trimmer, um, things like that. But I'm going to start fabricating the pieces and um, start hanging stuff up. Fabrication next. I got the um, cleats all up and I did a mock up of the uh, hanging, hanging system here for this. So if you take a look, got a shovel up there. Boop, boop. And uh, let me show you how this works. Take the shovel down. This just slides right in. So this is the 45 degree um, piece that I cut originally when I ripped the original pieces down. Just put some screws in the back there, one and five eighths, pre-drilled and countersunk, so I don't have anything going out uh, on the back end. And then the side pieces are uh, seven inches tall, and I cut a, a angle piece about an inch in and an inch down, and so that'll prevent the tools from sliding off the assembly, and they just kind of sit in there, and. Uh, I made it flush with the bottom part here, uh, so the forces, when something's on it, it's actually pushing against the this, and it just gives it way more stability and won't yank it off the wall. So I got about 16 of these to make for all the tools that I got so far. I'm gonna have to do a couple of custom ones for the, uh, for the hedge trimmer and the weed whacker there, and a couple of little odds and ends, but other than that, let's get to work. Got all my pieces cut. Got some there. Got a bunch over here. And uh, I'm ready to cut those angle pieces for the sides. So what I did was is I uh, cut this angle piece uh, by hand and then um, took two pieces of painter's tape and some um, super glue and uh, attached that to the, uh, the fence of my um, my sled here and then I, I got a piece of uh, a little stop block here and so what's going to happen is that that's going to slide into there just like that and then I'll make the cuts and uh, I should be able to whip through those pretty quick. I got everything cut I just need to uh, pre-drill uh, screw uh, some wood screws in there and then we'll get them on the wall. Cool. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna call it a day. It's about six o'clock, but you know what? I, I got everything done that I wanted to. It's 98% uh, um, all done. And um, I'm gonna spin this around and I'll show you what, uh, what the result is. So it looks pretty good. Um, everything's kind of up temporarily. I'm gonna move it around a little bit tomorrow, but uh, so far it's uh, pretty much what I expected it to turn out like. It's not the fanciest one in the world, but uh, it is what it is, and it's going to work just fine for me. Maybe I'll change it later on um, when I get my uh, shop done, but uh, for now, I'm going to call it good. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.